So, we never thought we were going to have to make this video, but um, there have been some rumors circulating online uh, about our relationship, and they're really bad, so we just decided to make this video and tell you guys the truth, like, tell you our story. Yeah, and I feel like the only way for us to kind of explain everything is to take you guys back to about a year ago. Hey bitches, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk to you about Brandon Cavillo and his girlfriend Lacey sitting down and addressing these rumors that they started dating when she was just 17. If you have not already seen my video from yesterday where Jeffree Star was botched by an LA doctor, as well as Kathleen Light's defending ColourPop, I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner as well as a link down in the description. If this is your first time on my channel, hello, welcome, how the fuck are you doing? If you could please hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, welcome the fuck back. If you could please make sure you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell icon somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion. Opinions are not facts. I invite you to research all this information for yourself by watching other creators' videos and then coming back to the comments section so we can have a healthy adult conversation. Please do not send any hate to anyone or any brand that I speak on in my videos. That is not what these are meant for. They are just meant for us to spill a little tea, throw a little shade, and have a messy ass time here on the internet. As I was making this thumbnail, I was sitting here and I was thinking, how am I going to go about this video and talk about Brandon Cavillo and Lacey James? And the only way to really talk about this is to just come out and call them both flat out liars. Now, before people start freaking out on me in the comments, let me give you a little backstory about this whole situation regarding them both. The other day, Trisha Paytas uploaded and quickly deleted a video titled, Why David Dobrik is a Horrible Human Being. In Trisha's deleted video, she let out information about her relationship with Jason Nash, her friendship with David Dobrik, and let out some information on who Brandon Cavillo was dating. Here is the bomb that she dropped about Brandon Cavillo's relationship. There's people dating Brandon in their friend group was dating a high schooler last year. She was 17 years old and when I would talk about this with like David, he would literally be like, oh, it's a big deal. He's 24, like she's 17, like, you know, just because it's the law, like a year, like six months and six months she'll be 18. I'm like, it's disgusting. Like people have found this out and like Brandon will call David and be like, oh, like you gotta, you gotta delete these comments about her age and stuff like that because she was in high school when they started like dating and hooking up. Like it's this whole like weird thing. Once Trisha's video gained a lot of traction and she took it down, Brandon Cavillo took to his Twitter to say the following. I just wanted to clear some comments that were made regarding me today and some assumptions that I've been getting for a while now. My girlfriend is currently 18, and we started dating when she was 18. She's about to turn 19. To be clear, we never dated when she was 17. Please be mindful of how hurtful and damaging your words can be. Thank you. His girlfriend Lacey James also took to her Instagram to release his statement and said the following. In all seriousness, something was posted on social media regarding my relationship. Rest assured, what was posted is not factual, and I was never in an inappropriate relationship with Brandon. We began dating when I turned 18, and I was a freshman in college. Brandon is a gentleman, and we have a wonderful and personal relationship. Please know that words hurt and can be really damaging. Both of those statements were almost immediately deleted because fans of both Lacey and Brandon remembered a video from February 2018, which would have made Lacey 17 years old, where she got into the car and Brandon was driving, and when the friend in the back asked if he was good in bed, Lacey turned around and she said yes. For copyright reasons, I can only play you the audio from that clip of both Brandon and Lacey a little bit sped up, but here it is. So you've been seeing this girl for a month? Around a month, yeah. Do you love her? Fuck off. <laughs> her name's Lacey. She's 18, 19. You're like, I hope. <laughs> is Brandon good at sex? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like... Hell yeah, Brandon. What's up, <laughs> During the time that Brandon and Lacey were both being called out over on Twitter for their statements they released and that video started to circulate again of her saying he's good in bed, they both decided they were going to start deleting tweets, they were going to start deleting images of themselves from both Twitter and on Instagram, which made people almost feel kind of like a Laura Lee type of situation, like why are you hiding everything instead of just coming out and admitting what you did. After taking a few days off of social media, Brandon and Lacey both sat down and decided they were going to record a five minute video explaining their relationship. The video is on Brandon's channel and it is called The Truth About Our Relationship. Get your popcorn and your tea ready because here are a few clips of what Brandon and Lacey had to say. About a year ago, I created an account on this app called Bumble where you can kind of meet new people and meet up with them and chat with them. And on my profile, it said I was 18 years old, and at the time I was 17. 
um, the third time that we hung out, we were going to the movies, and my friend David, who vlogs, he decided to join us and try and film it and make a bit out of it. And so, we're in the car, all three of us, and we start making these jokes, and some of them are about sex, and it was weird because we hadn't had sex at that point. We did not sleep together. I didn't know she was 17, and neither did David, so... In hindsight, it, it looks really bad, and we would have never made those jokes had we known. And I just, I freaked out, I didn't know what to do, so I, I called David, and he just was like, dude, everything's fine, they're just jokes, no one's done anything wrong here. I called you back, and I was like, we can't talk for a week until you turn 18. At least 18. until I turn 18, yeah. I kind of decided that, like, since we had been hanging out for like, it's probably like a month before then, mm -hmm. I just didn't want to throw away, like, our relationship. Shortly thereafter, we started seeing each other romantically, and now we're in a loving relationship. Yeah. And and we're both happy and healthy, and we love each other. That's the whole thing. We're, we're just in a relationship, and that's the story. There's People have been blowing this thing completely out of proportion. It's okay. Like, we, I'm 24. You're about to turn 19. In two weeks, I'm 19. Like, there's, there's no problem here. Also, another rumor that I kind of want to address is um, people ended up digging through my social medias. They ended up finding my LinkedIn and on my LinkedIn it says that I have been working for Brandon as his personal assistant since January of 2018. Yeah. And that's not the case. What happened was when we were officially together we um, I just ended up helping him with I brought him some food and stuff like that to like his shoots and stuff and just helped him with a couple of notes and um, I put it on my resume and said January because that was when we met just to make it look a little better on my resume It's, it's really crazy to both of us and silly mm -hmm. that all this is being I don't know like people just assume things and it's really disheartening just As the people who are involved in this situation like we are real people. It's just a in total invasion of privacy I am of course going to place the link to Brandon's video down in the description so you guys can all check it out for yourself. But there are only a few things that I took away from that video and the number one is that Lacey is a huge fucking liar. First of all, I'm not buying their story at fucking all. It seems very calculated that they would both sit down in front of the camera. He would shave his face to look like he was younger and more innocent, and Lacey would just stare at him with puppy dog eyes the whole entire time. It actually made me very uncomfortable how she was staring at him. It was like a dog waiting for its food. Lacey also admitted at the beginning of that video that she lied about her age so she could get onto Bumble and start matching with men. Like, that's shady to fucking begin with. I am not buying their story at all about how when they met in January, they were just friends and they were just going to hang out and that's it. But when Brandon found out that she was 17 years old, he said, we can't talk for a week until you turn 18. That is such a crock of shit. So now it's looking like Lacey has lied about three things. She lied about her age on Bumble. She admitted at the end of that video that she lied on her resume saying that she was his personal assistant since January of 2018 because that's when they met and she just wanted to make her resume look better. And then let's not forget that Lacey and Brandon both uploaded statements to their social media trying to claim that she was 18 when they got together and quickly deleted it when they were called out. Something shady is going on, y'all. I'm sorry, but if nothing really happened between these two, even if she was 17 about to turn 18 and nothing fucking happened, then you guys wouldn't go on a rampage on your own social media and start deleting photos, start deleting videos, start deleting tweets. Like, you would have nothing to hide. So you're 23, 24, and you met a 17-year-old. If nothing sexual happened or nothing inappropriate happened, then what are you so worried about? I'm sure that when Lacey and Brandon recorded this video, they were like, this is going to clear the air of everything, everyone's going to accept it, and we're going to be fine moving on from here. But the people in the comments section were not having it, especially on Twitter. After Brandon's video went live on his channel, he tweeted out the following. Thanks, you guys, for your support. I truly, truly mean that. Someone responded to his tweet by saying the following. So you and your girlfriend both lied in your first post, lied in the vlog, even though she said honestly, then she lied about her age and lied on her resume and lied about her job title. I like to believe your video, but... Another person responded with, Here's how I see it. Just own up to the shit. All the deleting tweets and all the suspicion makes you look bad. I'm a huge fan too, and I hate to see the things being said to you. But as a fan, I would also like, yeah, I had sex with a 17-year-old, but she's 18 now. Blam. I'm not sure why Brandon and Lacey are deciding to go the route of claiming that 
Once he found out she was 17, they could not talk, even pick up a phone to each other until a week later when she turned 18. I kind of feel like they're using the same PR company as Laura Lee and Manny MUA because this is just all the wrong steps. I mean, I think we can all take a flashback right now to when Laura Lee got caught with the racist tweets and decided to just take her whole Twitter down, as well as delete a bunch of them. Shady is as shady does, folks. A lot of people do have different opinions about Brandon and this Lacey girl dating potentially before she turned 18. A lot of people are throwing up the argument, well, the age of consent where I am is 16 or it's 17 here, but unfortunately for Brandon, the age of consent in California is 18. A lot of people will also throw up the argument that if there's nothing inappropriate or sexual going on, they see nothing wrong with a 23, 24-year-old dating a 17-year-old. To be honest, I think what would have saved Brandon and Lacey in this situation and possibly stop a lot of the comments that they are getting is if they came forward and said, yes, she was 17, about to turn 18 when we got together, but we were not having anything sexual go on. We were just getting to know each other, considering a week or two from when we met, she was going to be turning 18. And Instead, they went the route of lying and they are still sitting down and trying to paint this picture for everyone that I guarantee you guys is not the truth. I think that one of the reasons Brandon is freaking out about this so much and coming up with these lies trying to cover himself is because a lot of people are labeling him and tweeting to him that he is a pedophile. In my opinion, if you were to call Brandon anything in this situation because he was 24 and she was 17 at the time that they started getting to know each other, I would call him a predator. I would not call him a pedophile because to me, a pedophile deals with children and a 17 year old is far from a child. Trust and believe though, I find it extremely creepy that a 23, 24 year old was getting to know a 17 year old. Because in my opinion, after he found out that she was in fact 17 because of that person that commented under David's video, I don't buy for a second that they blocked each other's numbers and they could not talk until she turned 18. Now, in my opinion, they were still getting to know each other, but they were just not doing anything on camera because they did not want any more of that foolery going on. First of all, I think it's completely irresponsible and immature of Lacey to go on an app like Bumble and lie about her age and meet someone who is obviously over their 20s to hang out and start getting to know. In my opinion, Brandon is extremely lucky that Lacey's parents either didn't know or they were okay with this situation because we hear stories all the time of 16 and 17 year olds going and hanging out with these men that are older and the parents don't even ask questions. They will just have that motherfucker arrested and they will be labeled as a pedophile or predator and and they will have to register on the sexual offenders list. I'm just gonna be the one to say it. There is a huge double standard that goes on when it is a younger male dating an older female compared to if it's an older male dating a younger female. Let me give you a perfect example of this double standard. Brandon, who is 24, 23 at the time, maybe, I'm not exactly sure how old he was when him and Lacey got together, but she was 17, about to turn 18. He is being dragged across the internet right now by people calling him a predator, people calling him a pedophile, and basically calling to cancel him. There is a YouTuber by the name of Ariadna Juarez, and I'm pretty sure I'm butchering her name, I always get it in the comments, so sorry for that. She is an 18-year-old female who has been outed as dating a 13-year-old male. She's out here talking about how she can't wait till he proposes, and the only reason she's getting away with this is because his mother approves. Yeah, that bitch is sick in the fucking head. But she's out here also getting Valentine's Day sponsorships, doing giveaways for companies, and when the companies are alerted about it, they just block everyone and tell them they're fucking stupid. But where is the same energy that Brandon is receiving where this girl is clearly a pedophile? What is your opinion on this whole Brandon and Lacey controversy that is going on? Do you think it's fair that Brandon is being labeled as a pedophile or as a predator? If you watched the video that Brandon and Lacey uploaded where they explained their relationship, did you believe everything they had to say? Or were there some parts that you believed and other parts you think were just fabricated? Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. And that is it for this video, everyone. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please follow all of my social media that is listed down in the description. And I love you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.